Invasive species issues are the most important issues in the universe, the known universe. There may be something big going on in Alpha Centauri that we haven't figured out, but... What scares you the most? Werewolves, Decepticons, or invasive species? I've got to go with Decepticons. Have you seen what they can do? How does it feel to be an invasive species here on Hawaii? Feels great down here. It looks like there's a lot of us. There's no dumping laws in Hawaii. The ships can dump three nautical miles out, and there's tons of staph infections here. Is staph an invasive species? Or it's a biological warfare. What's the deal with the invasive species here in Hawaii? It's killing all the native species, and Hawaii has the most endangered species of any state in the United States. It took 257 million years for us to evolve five continents worth of diversity. It'll take a few hundred years to lose that. If we fail to act, we're going to have one continent's worth of diversity forever. I do public outreach about invasive species, and we're in Hawaii, the invasive species capital of the world. We have about 1,700 native species in the Hawaiian Islands. 90% of those are endemic to the islands, so they occur only here, nowhere else in the world. Invasive species were introduced by people or through our movement. When people do bring what they like to new places, and that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. Some things start out good and go bad. They reproduce very quickly, they take over, and they cause harm to the environment, our economy, our health. If they eliminate some of the native species, then you're losing that overall diversity. Many of the native birds and insects and that sort of thing rely on the native species. That's what they've co-evolved with. If they're gone, then they disappear too. And we're seeing many of the Hawaiian birds are completely gone. Our influence on these places has been the most invasive thing. This is the sort of the Noah's Ark. These are all our babies. This is one of the rare species from Hawaii. We've got all of these native Hawaiian species that don't have a whole lot of defense anymore. That's why we have so many problems with invasive species. So you can be concerned about loss of native diversity for spiritual, theological, economic, environmental, or just personal reasons. How can people, when they vacation, keep from being an invasive species? Well, there's always sailing. Here we are in the jungles of Hawaii. And our bio beetle. Beep, 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 beep. We believe we're the world's first rental car company to power all their cars on biodiesel, trying to be the greenest rental car company on the planet. We're using the biodiesel that Pacific Biodiesel makes from recycled vegetable oil that they get from restaurants. Started out with one car and went from there, and we're up to about 20 here on Maui, and we opened up in Los Angeles also, and we're hoping to go further. People are thrilled to drive a car that runs on vegetable oil. We get total strangers giving us hugs. The other rental cars company, I don't think they get hugs from <laughs> total strangers. We have created this place for people who really like to travel consciously. My focus is the health of the bamboo. Mexican weeping bamboo. Lumber bamboo. Bamboo, although it's not native anywhere, it's found on every continent. It's a very tough little bugger. That's entirely built of bamboo and bent up within two weeks. The bamboo farm needs to be a farm so that these houses that are here can be built from bamboo that was grown here. We have composting. Permaculture. This roof is full with solar panels, which gives us all the electricity we need. Plus, it catches the water, which goes into a pond. We invite students from all over the world to come and volunteer for three months. They learn about sustainability, about bamboo, and about organic farming. What we're doing is trying to create sustainable accommodations for tourists to Hawaii. We've done a yurt and we've gotten several VW buses. People can actually sleep in the VW buses. They have beds and closets. A few of them were on the way to the dump. A little eco hotel room. This is Rufus, our solar bus. We managed to salvage it and put solar panels on top of it. And this is our power for the whole resort. 85% of the Big Island lives off the big tank in your yard that catches rainwater. This is our lavatory. Lavatory, oh. For the composting toilet, it's easy. Take out the bottom and there's your soil. Lava is one of the few materials we have naturally here. Put rocks, stack them up, put some mortar in there so they don't fall apart. And then you have a grill. Our outdoor lava rock shower, made to look like an erupting volcano. We want to offer tourists an alternative to what is going on out there with tourism. It's awesome. You can go on vacation and have a minimal impact on the environment. What scares you the most? Werewolves? Vampires or invasive species? Mirrors. Mirrors? Mirrors. I look at this in the mirror and it scares the shit out of me. I'm a martini, a dirty one at that. Oh. Tastes like baby aspirin. You can turn on our mermaid shower with a pleasurable touch on the nipples. Wanna adjust the temperature, you just twist it back. Yurt. Finally stayed in the yurt.